So what you're saying is, I'm the most popular teacher in school. Okay, today we're doing something that Simon has never seen before, actually. Martina's only told me about these, but now I finally get to play with them. Yes, these are arm, arm wristlets. Okay. Arm wristlet. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know. So what happened is, um, when I was teaching in high school still, grab these, Simon, mm -hmm. I would see people wearing these on their arms, and it only goes halfway. So it goes to... It just covers your forearm. Yes, like okay. this. Except I have big forearms because of my man muscles. Okay, hold up your Power Ranger thing. Okay. <laughs> What's that to do with Power because Rangers? Because it feels like I should transform. It's like a wrist couplet. What's with Power Ranger references in our videos? Last week we did Power Rangers, this week Power Rangers. I don't Rangers. know. It just seems like wrist couplets are superhero things, aren't they? Why do they wear wrist couplets? Is it going to help them from like that wrist attack? I think it's if somebody chops you with a sword, you'd be like, blocked! But like how many superheroes end up getting hit with swords? They usually just... Well, the Power Rangers origin. fight with swords all the time. That's why I mentioned Power Rangers. You raised a very valid point. Okay, I brought him around full circle. I found out a new special attack against somebody. You ready? Hold out your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't, you did it to yourself. How does this work? What, what, what did you do? My man strength. Smart, you can do that now, aren't you? I just... <laughs> <laughs> Show you again! <laughs> Stay on the stool. <laughs> I had a lot of coffee. I fell off my stool. Um, this is so that when you're writing on the chalkboard, your sleeve doesn't get covered in chalk because you write like this and then it ends up going on this instead of your sleeve. Supposedly. Now, I didn't just have students wearing this, I had teachers wearing it too. Like, mm -hmm. I had really beautiful teachers that wore these amazing outfits to school and then they walk out wearing these wrist couplets over them. Yes. And I was like, that's not right with that outfit there. But you don't put them on both arms, do you? Because you're not writing on the board with both hands. They have them on both arms. Well then that's just stupid! Wait, no, there must be a good reason for this. Maybe when they're erasing with their left arm, they'd get like eraser sheddings? You erase with your right arm also. But what if you're like this and then you're just trying to be quick and you're erasing with your left? So you keep uh, erasing your hand like all that and say, BAM! No one saw it, I come in. I don't know. It makes no sense. Okay, well forget the teachers for a second because the students also wear these as well. Now that, I actually asked my students once, I'm like, why are you wearing these on your sleeves? And she said that when she's writing, and you get like pen on your arms, but don't you get pen on your hands? Like, shouldn't you be doing like this and then writing with like your fingers sticking out? I have no idea. I really just realized that it didn't make any sense and I never called them out for that. I'll tell you exactly what it's for, I figured it out. It's so that you could smuggle stuff into your sleeves while looking like a diligent student. Like, if you want to play with those like golf zone things, oh they don't God. fit in your pencil case, you just smuggle them in here. Well, I mean, like, they could be smuggling and I suppose like cookies and snacks and stuff. I know. They're not allowed to like leave the school property during the day. They have people standing outside the school, like, like teachers. And if the students try to like leave to go somewhere, the teachers would be like, where are you going? And they can get in punishment for that. They like trip up the students and shoot them with guns. Okay, well, Simon is never having coffee again. <laughs> oh, it's official. Yeah, <laughs> Whoa. They're water guns is what I meant to say. It's a very fun security system. Okay, well forget normal class. Like, the students that I have that didn't wear these normally, they did wear them in art class and that makes sense, That would right? make sense, yes. I mean, okay, sure, you could just roll up your sleeve, but... Okay, wait, no, this must make sense. Let's say you can't roll up your sleeve, like you've got the button-down shirts mm -hmm. for uniform. So and you got only... really, really tight shirts on. Yes, well they have those little tight sleeves. Yes. Okay, and then you put this on top of your sleeve, so that when you paint like an idiot, <laughs> with your arm in the canvas. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know, please someone tell us. What could this possibly be used for, like logically? It's giveaway time! So what are we giving away? This is a really fun care package. Yes it is. We're giving away the water guns. Oh right, the super cheaty pumping gun and like the sword that the I had. The Excelsior, yes. Yeah. We're giving away the bunny hoods for the dogs. For spudgy so yeah. that they could run and jump a lot faster and yes. higher. And we're also giving away golf these arms and the golf pencils. Oh right, this is a really fun care package. It is. Yes. So for this month's contest, all you have to do is tell us, if you were a student, what would you smuggle into these arm sleeves? Mm. Mm. And don't say drugs, because drugs are bad. We don't do drugs. Only caffeine. Caffeine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Simon's like, ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna put hamsters in here. Why would you put hamsters in there? Because then you take your hamster during class and the hamster would be like, meow, 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 and you'd run all over hamsters the classroom. Hamsters don't meow. And... So this contest is for our YouTube subscribers. Only leave your answers in the comments and we'll pick the best one next week. And make sure you subscribe, because if you're not subscribed, we will not pick you as a winner. Because we like our subscribers. Yeah, because you guys are really nice. They are nice to sending us. us candy noms. We're almost at like 100,000 subscribers. Are we really? Yeah. You guys are the best. I know. Let's Thanks, hug guys. them.
you hug. What are you doing? I think, I think what I'm second base. What are it. you doing? What? <laughs> what Strangling. You, what? Well, I have big arms and I just. You could fit at least 12 subscribers in there, I think. I could. Let's see. One. Well, your fat head takes up like all of it, fat head.